stuck here. And it's time for the results of NXT TakeOver The End. Now, this pay-per-view was actually pretty good. Uh, make sure you've also checked out my prediction video. It will be in the link below. And yeah, we can see, like if you don't believe what I actually say with what predictions I got right in this video, you can head over and check my actual prediction video to see which ones I got right. But, if you haven't seen the pay-per-view yet, make sure you go and watch it on the WWE Network. It was fucking pretty awesome. Five matches only. It only had five matches, but five really good matches nonetheless. <laughs> so, I'll go through the matches. I'll go through my predictions of who I chose to win, how I chose that we were going to win, and who I was rooting for before I go through what happened in the match. So, we started the pay-per-view with Ty Dillinger versus Andrade Cian Almas. So, Cian, apparently it means a hundred in Mexican. So, it's like the perfect ten versus a hundred. <laughs> but, it was pretty interesting. I thought he was going to come out with his mask. But, um, he actually came out just, you know, with a hat on, his hair all slicked and everything. He actually looked pretty mad. And, so, I'll get into the prediction now before I actually start with the match. I predicted Almas to win, and by pin, and I was reading for Ty Dillinger, I have no idea why. I kind of wanted to change who I was reading for. I kind of did change who I was reading for, I was going for the Almas one. But, I, you know, officially had before in the prediction video, I had chose I was reading for Ty Dillinger. So, this match, they were going back and forth. Ty Dillinger was doing some pretty epic moves, and the crowd was actually cheering for him more than they were cheering for the new guy. But, it came down to the end. We had a mad DDT, a, a well, running bulldog from Almas. Um, and then he was over, Ty Dillinger was in the corner, and Almas did this like running type of, it's kind of like the Bronco Buster, I think that's what it's called, but he ran. And they said it was a double knee. It was more like a fucking penis at the face. <laughs> That's what it looked like. Both knees went that side and the dick just went around. And Ty's just like... <laughs> but then one, two, three. Almas won by pin. So I predicted him to win and by pin. Go right. And then we headed into the second match. Which was the tag team championship match. Between American Alpha and The Revival. Now this match was pretty cool. I was rooting for the American Alpha to win. I predicted them to win, and I predicted them to win by pin, and Gable would be the one that done the pin. So let's get into the match. With this match, it was pretty back and forth. It looked like there was a huge botch at one point, but I'm not too sure. It kind of did look like it. But American Alpha carved up. There was some awesome moves, like when Jason Gable, uh, Jason Jordan got in there, you know, carving it up, suplex, suplex, suplex. He's like. Almost like the second Brock Lesnar was like suit like city bitch. <laughs> but um They were calming it up. Great ring work from the um the revival. They were cutting um, go, um Gable off from Jordan. Jordan was standing there and he wanted to get in, but Gable was getting taken to town by that. And then when he got in, Jordan went hammer. He fucking wrecked those bitches. <laughs> and then it came down to the end where we had Jason um, Jason and Gable, they were going for it, or Jordan and Gable, they were going for their finishing move. And what actually happened was one of the Revival people, I think it was Dawson, grabbed Gable and threw him out. And when um, Jordan flipped Dash, um, the other one caught him and then put him down and then Gable, like Jordan turned around like what the fuck and now as he turned around he got hit with their finisher one two three new tag team champions and now uh, the revival are two time tag team champs not what I would have chosen to happen I would have kind of thought that they would have let the American Alpha retain the titles in their first title defense oh well so yeah that one prediction was wrong I did say pin but you know I wasn't really too happy about that one. I wanted American Alpha to win and retain their titles. And it sucks that they had lost their titles on their first title defense against the Revival. Oh well. 
hopefully they win the titles back, but maybe considering Gargano and Ciampa just recently beat the Revival the week before, maybe they'll get a shot before Gable and Jordan will. But they look pretty shattered after the match. Uh, heading into the next match, we had Shinsuke Nakamura versus Austin Aries. Now this match was pretty insane. I was going, for, I was rooting for Shinsuke, I was, I predicted Shinsuke to win and by pin. Now let's get into this match. Both these guys are fucking insane. Like they're both fucking epic wrestlers. They took in the count. I don't know if Aries wore tape around his gut just to throw Shinsuke off. Or if he actually had like a, a pre-match injury. Or like he must have stretched and hurt himself. I have no idea. But, oh, yeah, um. I'll get, I'll get to that part after, like, I'll, I'll go back, I'll, I'll continue with this match, but I've got something else from the previous match I'm going to talk about as well. So, yeah, this match was pretty insane. They were going to town. Um, Austin Aries was calm enough, he was doing some epic moves, some fucking mad suicide dives. He even fucking disassembled one of the fucking barriers. And then Shinsuke, he was doing some mad fucking kicks. And then it ended up coming down to Shinsuke hitting a Kinshasa from behind off, this, off one of the ropes, I think it was, or the second rope, top rope maybe. And then he hit him with like the imploder suplex. And then he hit the Kinshasa again. And one, two, three, Shinsuke Nakamura got the win. And both men came out of this looking great. Shinsuke Nakamura most likely will be number one contender, I'd say. And Austin Aries still proved that he is the greatest man that ever lived. It's just, it wasn't his night tonight, it was King of Strong Styles night. And yeah, so I got that prediction right. And now back to the tag team match. Um, after American Alpha had lost the match, they were both standing there, and then they both got attacked by two random guys. They both looked either Samoan or New Zealand. Yeah, either they were New Zealander or Samoan. I don't know, but they were like really big guys and they are wearing like kind of camo -y pants and they kind of look like a rip-off of the shield, just a fatter version, like the sitting at home like, we're gonna go and shield this motherfucker up. <laughs> but they laid him out. They squished the shit out, Jordan. Like they both fucking ran. Boom. Boom. Like just fucking all their weight in the corner on Jordan. I'm like, oh, fuck. And Gable got manhandled and then they laid them both out. And then some old legend manager came out, um, Eirling, I think his name was, I can't remember, but yeah, so we're having a new tag team, maybe, a new dominant, like, big man tag team, we'll soon find out, I guess, next week, but yeah, so let's head into the fourth match, we had the NXT Women's Championship between Asuka and Nia Jax, this match, Asuka went into this match looking like, you know, she'd just been laid out the week before. So, everyone was thinking, can she do it? Her intimidation, not, like, Asuka is, I mean, Nia Jax isn't intimidated by it. And there was a lot of points where Asuka almost looked like she was like, oh shit, like, Nia Jax is fucking, she means, like, she's not scared of me. And in this match, I was rooting for Asuka, predicted her to win, and by pinball. So let's get into the match. Pretty much they were going to town. They were like all of, all of these matches went to town. They all took it to the limit. And they fucking pretty much did a mad match. I wasn't expecting this one to be as awesome as it was. But Asuka, she fucking took it to Nia Jax. And Nia Jax is bigger and taller than her. And Nia Jax even did some mad running type of heavy moves. But at the end, I thought she was going to make Nijax tap. Nijax didn't tap, so she got out of it. And Asuka just started kicking her right in the side of the face. She hit three kicks, and then Nijax screamed. Like she was like, ah, like like a harpy type of scream right in my, uh, at Asuka's face. And Asuka just went bang, fourth kick, knockout, one, two, three. <laughs> Asuka retained her title, and it was a fucking that definitely sealed it as her as top baby face of the um, women's division of NXT at the moment. I think mid-card top babyface would be Camella at the moment, but yeah. 
And then we headed into the main event. It was the NXT Championship match in a steel cage between Finn Balor and Samoa Joe. Now, I have to say, Finn's entrance was fucking awesome. How he came out as a demon, but he pushed the cage door down, like over near the thing, so it was like a cage setup. He pushed the steel slide of the cage down. That was fucking awesome. Um, they got into the ring, and they just started going at it. But I, in this match, I was rooting for Finn, but I predicted Joe to win by submission. So back into the match, they were going at it. Joe first tried to get out of the cage straight away. But the first person to use the cage as a weapon was Joe. He threw Finn headfirst into it. There was some mad cage usage with some epic moves. Um, Finn Bella hit the Coupe de Gras. Um, Joe hit a knuckle buster. There was submissions. There was fucking smashing Finn's head into the cage while he was over on the top of the cage. I, it did look like Finn was going to do what I said with, with um, predicting that he's going to do the Coupe de Gras off the top rope, uh, off the top of the cage, but he didn't. He was going to get out and then Joe grabbed him and put him in the knuckle buster and he did the knuckle buster from the, te uh, from the second row and got the win and that was a fucking insane way to end it and I'm surprised Finn is alive but I think that's the first time the demon's been beaten so Joe got the win by pin um, it was a good match nonetheless but who will go for the titles now and what happens to Finn is he going to go to the main roster let me know in the comments below guys and also, Bobby Roode was seen backstage, so he didn't show up like I predicted in Aries' match, but he was there. So it was good to see him there. But, if you like this NXT takeover, the end, the result video, make sure you hit that like button hard, guys. Don't too fucking hard, don't break your computers. And while you're here, hit the subscribe button, and spread the word of the jigsaw to everybody you know. And if you want to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, the links are in the description down below. And guys, let me know what you thought was the best match of this pay-per-view. My opinion, I thought the best match on the pay-per-view was Shinsuke Nakamura versus Austin Aries. That was the number one match, probably followed by the NXT Championship match. And then I'd say the tag match was good. And then, I don't know, the other two, the Divas, like the women's match, not Divas, but the women's match and the Ty Dillinger and Sian match was pretty good too. All of the matches were pretty good. Like, the, I was thinking for five matches on the card, you got to give us a little bit more, but those five matches sufficed pretty damn well. So guys, I hope you all enjoyed it, and as always, stay.